Modal verbs in conditional sentences. First, second, and third conditionals. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. In this video, we will be exploring the fascinating world of modal verbs and conditional sentences. Specifically, we will dive into the three types of conditionals. The first, second, and third conditionals. So, let's get started. The first conditional is used to express a real or likely situation in the future. It consists of two clauses, the if clause, also known as the conditional clause, and the main clause. The if clause introduces the condition, while the main clause states the result or consequence. The structure of the first conditional is as follows. If plus present simple, will plus base verb. For example, if it rains tomorrow, I will stay at home. In this example, the if clause is, if it rains tomorrow, and the main clause is, I will stay at home. The first conditional allows us to talk about possible future outcomes based on a specific condition being met. The second conditional is used to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations in the present or future. Similarly to the first conditional, it consists of an if clause and a main clause. However, the second conditional is used to express situations that are unlikely or contrary to reality. The structure of the second conditional is as follows. If plus past simple, would plus base verb. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. In this example, the if clause is, if I won the lottery, and the main clause is, I would buy a big house. The second conditional allows us to discuss imaginary or unlikely scenarios and their hypothetical outcomes. The third conditional is used to talk about hypothetical situations in the past that did not occur. It helps us imagine different outcomes or regretful situations. Like the first and second conditionals, the third conditional also consists of an if clause and a main clause. The structure of the third conditional is as follows. If plus past perfect, would have plus past participle. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. In this example, the if clause is, if I had studied harder, and the main clause is, I would have passed the exam. The third conditional allows us to discuss past events and their hypothetical results, which help us reflect on missed opportunities or alternative outcomes. And there you have it. We've explored the first, second, and third conditionals in modal verbs. Remember, the first conditional is used for real or likely future situations, the second conditional for hypothetical or unreal scenarios, and the third conditional for reflecting on past events that didn't happen. By understanding and practicing these conditionals, you'll be able to express yourself more effectively and precisely in English. Thank you for watching. And I hope this video has been helpful for your English language learning journey. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons to come. See you next time.